Today's topic, cellular respiration. One of the main reasons why you eat and the reason why you breathe. So let's prove that cellular respiration does in fact take place inside the human body. Here's what you're gonna need. Promethymol blue, which is a pH indicator, you're gonna need about five mil of that. 115 mil water, small beaker, scissors, aluminum foil, regular old drinking straw, and a one-way valve while air can pass through one side but not necessarily get back through the other side. Here's what we're gonna do. 115 mil in the beaker. pH indicator, also in the beaker. Aluminum foil goes over the beaker. I'm gonna use my straw to poke two holes in the top of the aluminum foil on opposite sides of the beaker. Well, about the first third. I'm gonna ensure that the little arrow is pointing down on my valve. Stick one side here on the straw. Stick the other side on like this. Next, I'm gonna get a timer on my phone. I'm gonna blow bubbles into the beaker and I'm gonna stop the timer when my, when my pH indicator changes color. This is gonna indicate that I have turned the liquid in this beaker into carbonic acid by introducing CO2 into the water. Here we go. And as you can see, my liquid has turned to a light greenish color. And it took about 18 seconds for that change to happen. I got another beaker set up the exact same way with the exact same measurements. I'm gonna repeat the test, except now I'm gonna do one full minute of jumping jacks before blowing into the beaker. So as I'm doing my jumping jacks, I am breathing out carbon dioxide gas and breathing in oxygen gas. Here's what's going on in my body. The oxygen's going into my cells, where it's gonna meet up with some food particles that I ate earlier in the day. And they're gonna meet up in my mitochondria, where energy, ATP, is gonna form, along with CO2 and water as a byproduct. Okay, I'm gonna reset my timer and test again. This time, 10 seconds, a little over 10 seconds to change the indicator to green. 